recognizing the member for Richmond North Centre. The Honourable Speaker, I'd like to thank member from uh, Vancouver Kensington for bringing up this private member statement to mark the Black History Month. Imagine walking through the streets of your community, such as mine, Richmond North Centre, where every storefront tells a story, not just of commerce, but of dreams, resilience, and a legacy of overcoming. Among this, a unique set of stories often remains unheard. Those of our black-owned businesses and boring centuries of strength and innovation. Today, as we stand at the crossroads of history and hope during Black History Month in British Columbia, let us amplify these voices, celebrating their contributions and confronting the barriers they face. As a Shadow Minister for Multiculturalism, Anti-Racism Initiatives, Arts and Culture, and in the BC United Caucus, we know that in British Columbia, the contribution of black entrepreneurs, artists, and community leaders have been instrumental, yet disproportionately unrecognized. February, when we mark Black History Month, offers us a lens to view our collective history through the achievements and challenges of black Canadians, but also reminds us of the work yet to be done. In a time marked by economic instability and rising cost of living, the challenges faced by black Canadians are not just remnants of history. They are urgent issues of today with black British Columbians and black-owned businesses in BC facing unique hurdles. Despite their critical role in enriching our province's cultural and economic landscape, they encounter barriers to finance, mentorship, and market access, and are exasperated by the worsening reality of doing business. The Canadian Black Chamber of Commerce has highlighted that black entrepreneurs frequently struggle to access capital, more so than the national average. Similarly, findings from the Black Business and Professional Association underscore that these entrepreneurs are more likely to encounter innovation and growth barriers. The Black in BC survey conducted in 2020 revealed that Black British Columbians are significantly more likely to experience discriminations in various facets of life from the workplace to housing markets. Such disparities are not just statistics, they represent lived experiences that demand our attention and action. As we navigate through the highest cost of living in recent memory with rents soaring and small businesses grappling with unprecedented challenges, the resilience of black-owned business stands as a testament to their commitment to thriving against the odds. Yet, they should not have to face these hurdles alone. It's incumbent upon us to force an environment that supports their growth and amplifies their success. Black Canadians have long encountered systematic injustices anchored in racism, prejudice, and hate. These injustices ensure that racialized individuals disproportionately bear the brunt of our system shortcomings, be it in healthcare, education, public safety, or economic opportunity, worsening vulnerabilities at every turn. As I bring my statement to a close, I'm reminded of the profound legacies of resilience, innovation, and community that black Canadians have contributed to our province history and identity. Their relentless efforts have not only carved pathways for successive generations of black Canadians, but have also eliminated the way for all Canadians, especially those of us from racialized communities such as myself and others. As legislatures, our role extends beyond recognition to action. 
Honourable Speaker, let us pledge to not only celebrate and learn this Black History Month, but to embody its spirit throughout the year. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Thank you, Member.